Hello grade and welcome to our first ever video for this quarter and uh, this is about lesson number one which is uh, the earth's crust. So here we go. Now the earth's crust is known as the outermost layer and the thinnest layer of the earth. Where kung pagsusunod sunodin natin, we have the outermost layer which is the crust. And then right beneath the crust is the upper mantle. We have the upper mantle here. And then the lower mantle. And then we have the outer core and the inner core. So remember, guys, that as we go deeper, the temperature increases. Bisabihin mas umiinit, and and the pressure also increases. Bisabihin mas tumitindi po yung pressure o yung pagkakasiksikan na mga matter to sa loob. So we're not going to be talking much of these uh, four layers. We're going to be talking about, or we're going to be focusing about, focusing on the first or the outermost layer, which is the crust. Now, the crust here has actually two kinds or two types. So we have the continental crust here and the, the oceanic crust or the ocean crust. Right, so let us talk about um, the two types of crust. So the first crust, the first type of crust is the continental crust. So it is made up of granitic rocks no? or granite. So if you're wondering what a granite is, ito, here is an example of a granite. So as you can see, uh, a granitic rock or a granite has a lot of crystalline formations. No? Marami siyang crystals sa, sa kanyang uh, paligid at sa loob. Well, the reason why is that um, when these, of course, these rocks are made up of molten magma, Okay, or molten rocks. So they are they were first molten rocks, and then when they get out when when they were um uh when they get out of the earth through volcanic eruptions and other other ways, no, um, medyo mabagal yung paglamig nila. Mabagal yung paglamig nila, so it hardens very slowly, and it permits the, for for the crystals to form. So dahil to sa bagal ng pag pag cool down ito mga batong to, sa so pagbagal ng pagsusolidify niya nagkakaroon po ng time for the crystals to form. That's why you can see a lot of crystals here sa granite. Another characteristic of a continental crust is, of course, it makes up uh, the land or the continents from the name itself. Uh, this, is the co this is the type of crust that you can see in lands and uh, the continents. And then it also makes up the shallow sea beds, no? Doon sa mabababaw na part ng dagat. So yung, yung uh, lupa doon, it's still continental crust. Now, as you can see here, continental crust is thicker. So, makapal yung continental crust, but it is less dense. Ibig sabihin, e, uh, mas magaan siya. Alright? So, it, it, it's, it's lighter than the oceanic crust, which we will be talking about after this. No? So, if you have the same size of crust, uh, the continental crust here, the same size, and the oceanic crust, so pares lang sila ng size, and you weigh them, so they have the same volume, they will have different masses. So, mas mabigat po yung oceanic crust at mas magaan yung continental crust because continental crust is less dense. And finally, uh, continental crusts, yung mga rocks sa continental crusts are older. So, yung mga luma or yung mga talagang mga matatanda ng bato, you can see them all in the continental crust. Now, on the other hand, oceanic crust, so ito naman yung uh, crust which is made up of basaltic rocks. So here, you can see a sample of a basaltic rock. So a, bas a, a, a basaltic rock, as you can see, has less to no crystal formations. No? Um, hindi tulad nung, nung uh, granitic rocks na maraming crystal. So rough, major rough yung granitic rocks. But here, basaltic rocks are smoother. No? Why? Because uh, they are made up in the oceans. Um, uh, oceanic crust, which is made up of basaltic rocks, are made up uh, in the oceans. So, sila ay ginagawa or nag-perform sila sa ilalim ng karagatan. Now, when they were um, released from the inside of the earth, ganyan sila sa loob ng earth, tapos lumabas sila, no? so, mabilis yung cooling formation. Mabilis silang nagsosolidify, mabilis silang tumitigas. Therefore, wala nang time for the crystals to form. Uh, unlike dun sa granitic rocks na uh, which make up the continental grass, medyo mabagal yung pagsosolidify niya, therefore a lot of crystals can be formed. Here, basaltic rocks, konting-konti lang yung crystals na napoform, maliliit lang, 
minsan nga wala pa because um, mabilis or abrupt or mabilis yung pag-cool down nila at pag-solidified na. So wala nang time yung crystals na mag-form. Okay? And they are thinner. They are thinner. Huh? So look at this. Um, compared to continental crust, which is this thick, oceanic crust is this thick only. So ma mas manipis siya, but they are denser. Masiksikan yung mga molecules niya, yung mga bato na gumamumumu sa kanya. That's why kanina, sabi ko ka kanina, we have the continental crust here or a con um, um, a rock or a sample from the continental, continental crust and you have another rock sample from from uh, the oceanic crust, the same size, the same volume, magkaparesa, magkaparesa ang size, but if you weigh them, you will get um, something like this. Mas mabigat po talaga yung oceanic crust because they are denser. And kung yung continental crust, they are, are older, oceanic crust are younger. So as we move along with this lesson, you will know why yung mga bato sa oceanic crust are younger and yung mga bato sa continental crusts or older. So, let us move on to our next video.